A mysterious noise coming from the depths of the Pacific Ocean has baffled scientists for years. Now marine biologists thinks they have the answer, and it may be as simple as fish emitting gas as they travel towards the ocean's surface to find food under the cover of darkness. However, their leading theory is that the sound may serve as a dinner bell for fish, shrimp, jellies, and squid living in the mesopelagic zone, 600 to 3,300 feet, 200 to 1,000 meters, below the waves. Scientists have ruled out the noise coming from whales because it is too loud. Marine biologists from the University of California San Diego and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which are both in La Jolla, California, said the deep water organisms play a key role in ocean food webs and the global carbon cycle and that by studying them, scientists could better understand this mysterious ecosystem. Assistant research biologist Simone Bauman Pickering at the University of California, said that taken together, the organisms weigh approximately 10 billion tons and are a major link in the food chain between microscopic plankton and top predators like tuna, birds, and marine mammals. Because of their combined mass, these animals also play a major role in the global cycling of carbon from the atmosphere to the seafloor. The ocean's mesopelagic zone is a dark world because very little light filters down to its depths and without sunlight, food is less abundant. This means that at dusk, Many of the deep water dwellers migrate up to the nutrient abundant surface waters to feed, relying on the darkness to protect them from predators, before sinking back down to the dark mesopelagic zone for protection at dawn. Dr. Bauman Pickering and her team used sensitive acoustic instruments called hydrophones to measure the sound associated with this daily journey and found it is the buzz. While they are not yet certain which animals in the mesopelagic zone are creating the sound, they believe small bony fish that are abundant in the zone are the most likely suspects. The sound is 3 to 6 decibels louder than the background noise of the ocean, making it difficult for the human ear to distinguish. It's not that loud, it sounds like a buzzing or humming, and that goes on for an hour to two hours, depending on the day, Dr. Bauman Pickering said. It is well known that dolphins, whales and other marine mammals use sound to communicate underwater, but acoustic communication among smaller animals, like those living in the mesopelagic area, is more difficult to hear and hasn't been well studied by scientists. The sound could be a signal for the mesopelagic zone organisms to start migrating up to the surface or back down to the darker depths of the ocean, Dr. Bauman Pickering said. However, she told NPR that the reason for the noise may be more basic. It's known that some fish are considered to be farting. They emit gas from their swim bladders that control their buoyancy as they change depths in the water column so that their flatulence may be causing the hum. But if mesopelagic animals convey information through sound, learning more about who is communicating and what they're communicating about could change scientists' understanding of how the ecosystem fits together. The new research may also give scientists insight into predators who feed on the animals that live in the mesopelagic zone. The sound the organisms emit is likely only detectable up to a couple of miles or few kilometers away, but that may be enough to signal predators listening nearby that their prey is on the move, she explained. Dr. Bauman Pickering said the new research supports the idea that many ocean-dwelling animals could be communicating by listening to and responding to environmental sounds. Learning more about how marine animals communicate could shed light on these mysterious environments. I think a large array of marine, animals will show in the next 10 to 20 years that they are capable of producing and receiving sounds, she said. The team is presenting the findings of their study at the Ocean Sciences meeting taking place this week in New Orleans.